Hi guys, this is Cade with Two Idiotic Gamers, and I am here today to report some interesting news for the gaming community. Um, as a lot of us are well aware of, there has been a large DDoS attack on Sony's PlayStation Network, um, Blizzard Entertainment's Battle.net, um, the people for Leagues of Legend, and I believe Path of Exile. Um, basically, for those of you who do not know or have not heard of anything about this, DDoS stands for Direct Denial of Service. And uh, basically, the hackers are flooding all these gaming networks with high amount of artificial uh, traffic on their servers. So it is disrupting a lot of players from getting onto these networks and enjoying online games and so forth. Now, a group called the Lizard Squad has taken credit for this, and um, here, let me read you a few tweets. Um, Lizard Squad had uh, tweeted a few things. They said, Kufar, if I pronounce that right, K-U-F-F-A-R, Kufar don't get to play video games until bombing of the ISIL stops, hashtag ISIL, hashtag PSN, hashtag ISIS. Um, they also tweeted, Sony, yet another large company, but they aren't spending the waves of cash they obtain on their customers' PSN service and the greed. Um, now, they're saying they're doing this for ISIS. Um, let, me, let me read part of this article um, from The Daily Dot. It says, Lizard Squad appears to be focusing on Sony's PSN network. Two hours ago, this was posted. Um, this was po posted today, earlier today. Now they said um, they appear to be focused on Sony's PSN service. Smedley posted on Twitter that he could would be boarding a flight for San Diego later today. In response, Lizard Squad posted a potential bomb scare on Twitter. American Airlines has not responded to that threat. Now, there was another article I looked up before I started this, and apparently they um, redirected the flight to... Let's see. They redirected... They redif uh, redirected the flight to elsewhere um, under the bomb threat. Um, now, why this group is flooding these networks is seriously unclear. Um, they're claiming they're doing this for political reasons, for uh, bombing of this place, and that they're doing it for ISIS. But I honestly do not see why a terrorist group would be interested in disrupting services for gaming networks. Like, to me, it just doesn't make sense. Especially since um, ISIS started off with beheading an American journalist recently. I don't know if they've done anything more than that. Um, this is really... This is most recent have I heard about ISIS. I think I heard about them a few days ago. I was um, out with my mother at Godfather's Pizza, and they have a TV, and they had um, a news network up, and they were talking about ISIS and the beheading of this journalist. Um, so, honestly, if it's a terrorist group, I don't understand why they think disrupting gaming services is going to get them what they want. Um, because the government honestly doesn't care about gamers. They don't care about their networks. Um, they're not going to really do anything. They're not going to take it seriously. If they're even aware of what's going on. And if they are, they haven't really said anything as far as I know. Um, yeah, so this mostly seems directed at PSN. Um, but these other networks have been flooded with this DDoS. Um, as far as I know, Blizzard Entertainment has fixed the issue. As far as I know, um, I was playing World of Warcraft last night. Um, I just recently renewed my account, so I hopped on last night to see if anybody was on and if they were doing anything. And um, the trade chat was flooded with this um, with claims of DDoS. I honestly didn't believe it because it's not uncommon for servers to kind of go sideways when it's Blizzard Entertainment. Um, so I just kind of dismissed it and thought, whatever, they're just looking for something to blame. Um, 
but then I disconnected, and after that, I just didn't really bother. I think I went to bed shortly thereafter anyways. Um, otherwise, you know, <laughs> I have a couple of stupid theories, because personally, I don't see why terrorists would target gaming networks, like I said. Um, there have been talk in the past about them targeting gaming networks, but usually to recruit people for their causes, not really to disrupt their service. Um, my theories are it's a bunch of pranksters, in which case, not only have they disrupted service to gaming networks, they made bomb threats to a plane, which is a federal offense, and they could be looking at jail time if they were discovered. Um, second, um, for claiming to be a part of ISIS or doing this for ISIS, um, they're probably looking at getting thrown into Gitmo under the Patriot Act, and I don't see that being worth it. Honestly, if they're just a bunch of pranksters, this is a little way out of hand. My other theory, which is just as stupid, if not more stupid, <laughs> I feel that because I haven't really heard that Xbox is under attack, I feel that maybe this is a bunch of Xbox fanboys looking to upset the PlayStation fanboys. And if that's the case, they're even dumber because they threatened to bomb a plane and they claim to be a part of ISIS or doing this for ISIS. Um, with that said, um, honestly, most of the articles I've looked up have to do with Sony PlayStation, probably because, what was it, back in 2011, the PSN network was hacked and a bunch of credit cards, um, credit card information were taken, blah blah blah. There was a big settlement with 15 million dollars, I think it was. Um, so that's probably why most of these articles are focused on PlayStation, because this is not the first time they've been hacked. Anyways, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos. And until then, this is Cade, and I'll see you guys later.